the reason I ask of how difficult the assassinations are, you know, with bin Laden, it took a long time. Mm -hmm. So I guess the reconnaissance, the intelligence for finding the target. I imagine with Mossad, maybe the CIA now, the leadership of Hamas, of the military branch of Hamas, is much wanted mm -hmm. from an assassination perspective. So to me, as an outside observer, it seems like it's more difficult than you would imagine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but perhaps that's the intelligence aspect yeah. of it, not the actual assassination of locating the person. Well, I think most it's because mostly, from what I understand, it's a really it's a really dirty game, and people are covering for people, right? And I'll give I'll give you the example of Billy Wah and Imad Mugnia, mm -hmm. if I may, right? Mm -hmm. So Imad Mugnia was the most wanted terrorist in the world before Bin Laden, you know, Hezbollah's chief of operations, and he was wanted by every and you know Mossad on down, but no one could find him. He was missing for twenty years. There wasn't even a photograph of him. Mm -hmm. And then he resurfaced. And he, of all places, he resurfaced in Saudi Arabia, okay? So what? That's when I say it's a dirty game, right? Hezbollah, Iran, Hezbollah, Iran, enemies with Saudi Arabia. Why on earth was Imad Mugnia in Saudi Arabia? Well, that's where he was. There was a na Navy SEAL who was doing reconnaissance on him. This is according to Billy Waugh. And this is around 2005. So Billy's in his 80s at this point, right? Late 70s, 80s. And he gets word that the SEAL who's been tracking Mugnia to get photographs of him, to give the photographs to Mossad and CIA so they can do a joint operation to kill him, which they did with a car bomb in Damascus. That's mm -hmm. the end of the story, right? But how we got there was we needed, you know, the CIA needed confirmation. You can't kill the wrong person. So the SEAL panicked, according to Billy Waugh, and was just like, I'm out of here. This is too dangerous, and I do not want to wind up in a Saudi prison. So who do you send in? Billy Waugh, right? He shows up. He's there for 24 hours. He finds, he knows where Mugnia lives from the SEAL. He positions himself in a cafe across the street, which is run by Sudanese men. And of course, Wa speaks some Sudanese because he operated in Sudan, right? And he's shooting the shit with him by his own words. He had the most foul mouth. It was just absolutely delightful to listen to. And then in between him and Mugnia's house is a dumpster. Mm -hmm. And Billy Wa, being Billy Wa, who will go to any lengths to do the job, decides to re conduct reconnaissance from inside the dumpster. And that is where he is when he takes wow. the picture of Imad Mugnia living so comfortably in Saudi mm -hmm. that he, Mugnia, came, according to Billy, came out of his apartment building with dry cleaner plastic bag hangers over his shoulder. That's how comfortable he lived there. Mm -hmm. It was his neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Click, click, click. Billy Waugh takes the photographs, runs them to the... CIA headquarters in Saudi at the embassy. Oh my God, it's Mugnia. Get the hell out of here. He gets to the airport. He leaves. Those photographs get sent to the agency, and then they do the operation with Mossad, and Mugnia's dead. Now, that the truth about that being a co-CIA mission was not reported for many years after the fact. It was originally, Mossad took credit, as the CIA often likes to just give other people credit. Mm -hmm. They just want the job done. 